Good morning, students. Welcome back to our English class. Hope all of you are doing good. So, in yesterday's class, we have discussed affirmative and negative sentences and the conversion of an affirmative sentence to a negative sentence. In today's class, let us discuss about yes or no questions. Do you like eating ice cream? So, if you like eating ice cream, you say, yes, I do. If you don't like eating ice cream, you say, no, I don't. Suppose I say, did you listen to my class yesterday? Or did you listen to my yesterday's class? If you have listened, you say, yes, I did. If you did not listen, you say, no, I didn't or I did not. So, when we answer an yes or no question, it is an yes or no answer for it. Now, you might wonder, is it so simple? Then why learn? No. Let us check with few more examples. Are you coming with me? Yes, I am. Do you live in Kakinada? Yes, I do. Does he speak in English? No, he doesn't. Did you meet Arjun yesterday? No, I didn't. So students, when we answer yes or no questions, usually we don't or we normally don't use the complete question. Yes, we use only an appropriate auxiliary verb. Now, I think you are aware of what are auxiliary verbs. You have learned in your previous classes, 6th and 7th, what are auxiliary verbs. There are two kinds of auxiliary verbs. Primary auxiliaries and model auxiliaries. And these auxiliary verbs are also known as helping verbs. Primary auxiliaries are is, am, are, was, were, has, have, had, do, does, did. All these are primary auxiliaries. Modern auxiliaries are can, could, shall, should, will, would, may, might. All these are modern auxiliaries. Now you might wonder why are you talking about, uh, why am I talking about auxiliaries? Because for yes or no questions, whether you observe or not, we have used an auxiliary. Am, do, doesn't, did. Yes, with s or no. If it is positive, you say yes and the auxiliary. And if it is negative, you say no and the auxiliary. Yes. And one more thing you need to remember children. When you are answering, with, uh, if it is a negative answer, you need to use the verb in contracted form. So, why are these yes or no questions used? They are used either for seeking information, for confirmation or knowing your opinion, whether it is an yes or whether it is a no. Now, you might ask me or you might have a doubt that then what about some more information seeking questions which start with an WH. I think you are aware of these also, the WH words questions. Like, when did you do your homework? Where are you going? Why is she crying? What did you have for your breakfast? Now, these information seeking questions cannot be answered with an S or no. Let me just say, this. suppose for example, when I ask you, when did you do your homework? You might give an answer. I did my homework around 6 p.m. Yes, you just can't say yes or no to that sort of question. Now if I ask you, why is she crying? Now, the answer would be like, she is crying because her brother bet her. Yes, you can't just say yes or no. So, these WH 
age questions are called open questions. Why they are called open questions? Because the answers for them, you have the number of responses to this question are limitless. And the, you can answer them in a sentence or two, but you just can't answer them with an yes or no. Yes, students, I hope uh, I would be able to uh, explain to you or make you understand the difference between yes or no questions and the difference between uh, WH questions and yes or no questions. Yes, that's all for today's class. Thank you and have a nice day.